initially, it was all his idea. Like one day he um, like sent me a text or things like a G-chat where he's like, by the way, sign us up to foster dog at Eva's, or with, with, through Badass Brooklyn. And I was like, oh, okay, I mean, sure. You know, you know a I, week or two into it, we definitely wanted to introduce Hillary to our friends and to the world, if you will. <laughs> Um, even though we were still fostering her, uh, you know, we still felt like she was our dog, but um, we wanted to get her used to other human beings and we invited friends over and maybe three or four of them, maybe two couples, so two girls and two guys would come. And I think what we, Lauren's good about kind of warning people that she's not a, a aggressive dog, but she's just shy, so she's barking because this is her space or this is, you know, she just doesn't know who you are. So, you don't know, be we scared would, don't be scared, A, eh? and a lot of the friends would never back down to her either. Um, we would let our friends give her a turkey. I think the Kong with peanut butter in it was a perfect uh, treat and toy because we could have four people sitting on the couch talking and she'd be in the corner with her Kong. So yeah. still getting her used to, there's people here, this is going to happen for the next hour or two, but she'd be in the corner with her Kong. I think what was helpful though, which I feel like you mentioned before, just kind of like letting her do her own thing. Like people would walk in, they would try to talk to her if she, or they would try to like, you know, give her attention. If, she wasn't having it, then we were just like, okay, like we're here for us anyway. So we would hang out on the couch and almost ignore her. So it was kind of like a, oh, like this is normal. You mm -hmm. know, we're not making a whole spectacle of the dog. So I feel like that almost helped. And then we actually tried to have people over more often to get her associated with like not just being around us. Um, so we would have uh, yeah. maybe like 10 people in the apartment stop up here before we would like, go out or something. And um, she'd get used to like bigger crowds. And I think people also, we, we got lucky, like we would tell them, She's a little shy and, and people would do, you know, let her smell and if she didn't want it, they would understand. They, We have had other people, not our friends, but other people on the street try and, like, even if she didn't like it, force the petting and, she, and I think that's what scares her more or doesn't work. When people are like, oh, she doesn't want it, okay, you know, it's not, not her time or she's not ready. But then maybe five minutes later, as you guys noticed today, you know, it might take her a minute, but then she, she comes back. My sister was here last night and at first Hillary was a little shy, a little... Who is this person? An hour later, she went to my sister and just kind of liked her and understood. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, I think it also helps that we gave them a, a warning, but um, just a, a, that she's shy, she's not aggressive, but if she doesn't come to you, it's just because she's a little shy and it's not because she's obnoxious or rude, but she just. I feel like the killer just always has like that in between time of needing to get comfortable with, with things. I think some dogs are very much like in your face immediately, but Hillary always needs that time to settle and like get her, you know, used to her surroundings and, and things like that before she can kind of be herself. So it's kind of like understanding that and letting her have that, you know, um, yeah, a cheesy uh, line, but I was watching TV and like that Sarah McLaughlin commercial came on for like the ASPCA and Hillary was sitting next to me and I genuinely started crying. So I was like, oh my God, I've given you a good life. Like, you know, I felt like I was like, you know, the person that helped the song out, you know? Yeah. And just like everyone does say, we'll leave to go do laundry for three minutes and we come back and it's like we've been gone for you know days and yeah. she, she's just jumping and, and running on the couch and running in circles and, and you know just wants hugs and kisses so it's that is a great feeling to come home if Lauren and I ever have a bad day at work it's great just to come home and yeah you know she's all you know unconditional love whenever you need it the most so that's great